Okay, uh, welcome uh, everybody, viewers, and listeners. Uh, the PTC PSET 2009 end of year interview. Uh, my interviewee uh, very kindly uh, came to listen to you today. Uh, Jack, uh, welcome. Uh, so, Jack, um, becoming a teacher, why, why, did you, uh, why did you think about becoming a teacher? Um, basically, I was really young. Ever since I've done GCSEP, I said to the wife, I might like to go in and just go next to the teachers one day. After school, I went to college and I enjoyed the course immensely. And I thought, actually, I want to be here teaching this subject. Also, I've done a lot of coaching with young people. I enjoy working with young people. So, yeah, mm. there's things that I guess is teaching. Mm. 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 You didn't want to become a big football star, right? Um, wasn't good enough to be honest. Wasn't good enough. Oh. Okay. Um, and and why why in particular did you choose the um, the further education sector? Um, I think mainly due to my experience of college. I had a good class, everyone was there to learn, I wanted to learn, and I feel at the time I'm only 22 myself, I think I could relate more to the learners. So you were educated in a, in a further education college yourself? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you had a good experience? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and uh, in the light of um, the uh, experiences you've had uh, teaching so far, um, do you still want to be a teacher? I'm a teacher. Definitely. Um, I couldn't think of any other career to go down due to the fact it is challenging, but challenging is also very rewarding. Like seeing students come out with answers and perform what you've kind of taught them is just a very yeah, rewarding. Exactly. Definitely, it's just so rewarding. I can't think of any other job where you could get that sort of buzz. So yeah, definitely. Now if you take me back now to um, uh, eight or nine months ago, whenever we started, uh, whenever you started initially teaching, um, what were your initial sort of anxieties about uh, as you started? Initially, I was I was a bit worried about being too young to teach, I thought mm, I'm only 22, these guys are 16 to even 19, some of them I thought I can't stand up in front of these guys and literally tell them what to do, um, they're high, I the same age as them, so yeah that's a big factor of my age. That would always be the case. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think I'd uh, gain any respect from them being so young, but I don't know, it's probably worked in my favour that I can relate to them more. You're on their, their way through. On their level, yeah. And um, going back to those first early days, um, how did your first lesson go? How did you feel about that? First lesson, uh, extremely nervous because I'd only been in the class with them actually just sitting there observing, not actually doing any teaching, so it was my turn to kind of step up and I don't know, I guess they're not used to that, so I was very nervous. Um, although. After about 10 minutes, I began to relax. And I think due to the fact that I kind of engage the students, if you can engage them, then they're not going to mess around. So yeah, I was nervous initially, but as, it, as I progressed, you begin to relax and you get used to it. And how did your, um, uh, how, was the men- how was your relationship with your mentor? Uh, my mentor, actually, he's kind of only a couple of years older than me. Again, so I could relate to him and very supportive actually he'd be there I could literally ask him anything and he'd give me resources so yeah very supportive I'd say and uh, over the, the period you've been teaching now uh, you've got quite a wide range of uh, different experiences um, have your views of, of teaching and or teachers um, changed since you started Definitely. Um, before going into teaching, I thought the word teacher, I just look at that word and think, yeah, professional, professional. But as I've gone into the college and I've seen some of the things that teachers do, it's not so professional. I'll give you an example. Um, I had a meeting with 
another tutor who actually used to be very high up at the management level in the college, but he's a tutor now in my institute. Um, some of the learners are behind in their assignments. Uh, we had a meeting and he literally said, it's okay, don't worry, we're just blagging, we haven't got enough time, we're blagging. So, literally, pass, merit, and distinction is just saying, yeah, give me a tick in that box, pass, tick in that box, tick in that box, and they actually had me. What they had to do is construct a circuit, um, practically, yeah. and some, some of the majority have done it, but some of them haven't. The ones that haven't said, don't worry, so I would just tick the box. He says, if the, pay, if the paperwork's all there, you're, you're covered. All right. So that's not a good thing to That's not really a good day, thing. It? No. It surprised, took me by surprise, but... Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's a common occurrence, or just they know all the problems? I think it's going to depend on the institution, but, yeah, I probably think it's common. If you're running out of time, then what else can you do? Okay, well that's probably something which we uh, it's got to be encouraged. <coughs> um, if we go to now the um, the generally in the PGC e, PGC course from at UEL here, and I want you to be as critical as possible on this question. So how do you think this particular course has prepared you <coughs> well or not so well uh, on, the, on on to prepare you for your teaching? From at the beginning being kind of a nervous wreck and to now I can gladly willingly stand up in front of a class of what 20 people and kind of act as if yeah it's my class you're going to do what I say I from that I think it's definitely equipped me and given me all the tools that I need I can't really, can't really say anything else if I hadn't been on the course at this moment in time I wouldn't be able to stand up in front of what 20 people and give them knowledge as such. So yeah, well it's generally it's generally made me the teacher I am today. Yeah. And you're not just saying that because Warren's in the room. No. no. Okay. Thank you very much, Jack. That's been very useful. Thank you, um, wish you well in your teaching career. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> How are you lying? What's up? You should have seen this one. You should have seen the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh.